Okay, so one more um, question for tonight and I'll be done. So there's another question from our friend and he asked me how can I uh, relabel or rename the luminaire because sometimes architects or designers already have their own uh, label in their initial layout for the um, reflected ceiling plan or for the lighting layout. Like for example, they label this P5 L1 and this one is L11A or this one is L14. So they already have the code. And if you want to reflect this same code to your lighting design, you can do so. You can follow the same layout uh, used by the architect or interior designer. Okay, so how I will do that? Okay, so here for example, uh, this, is, this is the sample office and if I exported it just like a regular one, you can see that the label of the name is only uh, 5, you can see here the index is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And if you want to make it like, for example, S1 or S2, or this square downlight is SQ3, or this suspended one is SP4, or <laughs> whatever this linear is, L12, for example, like that. You can do it. You can follow the layout from the architect. So let's go and do it. So just go to the plan view and say, for example, this one, it's a circular fitting and you can see here at the luminaire tab that the luminaire index type is empty and the designation in the drawing plan is also empty so let's just label it as say s1 okay let's just imagine this is the code or the label uh, used by the architect so let's just type s1 for both the index and the de designation in the drawing plan and then let's use this one, the smaller one as, okay, there's a middle size here. So this one is S2, for example. Okay, so let's just type S2 for both. And then this one is S3. And this one S3. The S3 is for suspended. <laughs> and this one is a suspended luminaire. So let's say this one is P1. Alright, so this is P1. And we have some floor recess here, linear. So let's just this make it F1. Okay, F1. And then I have square down light here. So let's just make a code as SQ1. SQ1. Okay, and let's see how it looks later. And there's another one here, which is, I think this is a rectangular recess. So I will use this one as R1 okay r1 okay if i missed something then it's okay okay there's a download downlight here so let's just make it d1 okay i hope the code is all okay now all right so once you are done with that you can now export it and let's see how it looks so just go to the export tab and then export the value to a new file so uncheck those uh um, objects that are not necessary so I just selected this luminaires and then one layer per product type and then luminar list and then calculation surfaces points so just go and export a new file and let's say this is option 3 and let's make it in the desktop so we can compare it and say save <clears throat> okay so this is the original one the one with just a number okay so the index you can see is just a number and let's see now what we have for that one that we open okay so let's go to the desktop option three yes open the drawing and now you can see that we are now reflecting the code uh, used by the architect see this one is r1 so in the index you can see that this one is r1 this is very good because the architect will now uh, easily identify which fitting you used or you suggest for the luminaire that they coded or labeled as for example r1 okay so they can see in this uh, they will use they can easily use this one in the specification okay all right if you don't understand this one you will understand it later once you get used to uh the lighting layout or the reflected ceiling plan taken from the architect because they already have the code for the luminaires and sometimes you follow their uh, layout and sometimes you're not because you are the lighting designer you know exactly how many fittings to be used in one room or if the luminaire that they suggested is correct or not but you can use the same code that they use in their layout or reflected ceiling plan okay so see it's now f1
P1, SQ1, R1. And um, this is also good because it means that you are following their layout and their code. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this uh, topic. It's, it's just a basic, but um, some, some lighting designers still don't understand or don't know this one. It's just a simple trick. Okay, and I would like to uh, update you, inform you that my Dialogs Evo for Advanced User is now published on uh, www.udemy.com. Go and check that one. For those who enrolled in uh, basic Dialogs Evo for Brigade for beginners go and check that one it's already published thank you and see you again on the next video bye oh by the way i forgot see this is the one we did and let's go to the documentation if it really reflects the one or the label that we used in our uh, previous design so let's see for example luminaire num uh, let's do and check in the luminaire list Okay, so in the luminar list, I'm using right now the Dilux Evo 9.2. See, this um, one fitting, it's F1. So it's here, it's in the index. You can see now in the luminar list, the code or the index or the code or label uh, used by the architect or the interior designer. So it's great. <laughs> see, it's here. Okay, so that's it. And see you again on the next video. Bye.